I, I, I would agree with you there. Um, I did mention fatal fetal abnormalities because I suppose maybe up to five or six years ago, we weren't used to that term. And I, I, I have a, a little cousin myself, she's 15. She has CDLS syndrome, if, which is um, Amsterdam dwarfism. Uh, she, she, as I said, she's 15 years of age. She, age. she has never spoken. She has never walked. She's a joy to behold. She's tube fed every day. She has the love of her mother, her father, and her brother, and her extended family. And why should she, why should she be denied the right to live? And that's why I feel very, very strongly about this. I also feel the right to life of the unborn needs to be recognised within the Constitution as it is at the moment. And I feel like, why should her life be worth any less than my children or anyone else here on the panel's children? And I think, you know, um, I'm very, very concerned after the weekend listening to the, the whole debate about, around Down syndrome and the fact that there, since this new screening has been introduced that um, in Iceland, for example, no child with Down syndrome has been born within the last four years. And in Denmark, for example, there's only been a handful of children yeah, born with Down syndrome. Yeah, if such a scenario were to apply yeah. here, it yes. would have to have been done so by legislation irrespective of whether or not... Uh, no, well, uh, well, well, my fear is that if, 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 if abortion was introduced into this country and we would have abortion on demand, mm. like where does it end? I, like, I, where I, is society I going with this?